Hello everybody, my name is Twin Plays. I'm gonna quickly show you how to use HD admin and or basically an admin into your Roblox game. It is very, very simple. So let's take you right through this. All right, so first things first, you're just gonna open up your studio and you're gonna head to the toolbox. If you don't know where that is, it's very simple to find. You can just sign it right up here on the homepage. Just this little button right here. But you're gonna look in here and of course, HD admin is the number one thing used. Um, so basically you're going to click this button and it's going to basically prompt this for you. It's going to say HD admin includes two scripts. You know, you don't need you, know, you can, you don't worry about this. I actually recommend keeping this unchecked because sometimes you might import a part that, uh, might have a script in it and you may not know that. So just make sure to let that be hit. Okay. Now you have an HD admin. This is the little thumbnail part. You don't need to worry about this. Um, we're going to head over to the right side. Okay. This is the properties and explorer page area. It's very simple. Um, but inside here, you know, we have a little readme kind of talks about, you know, how you store it. Um, so first things first, when you go and read this, um, you're going to say, uh, it says it wants you to store it in server script service. So we're going to do that. Um, basically by doing that, you're just going to drag this whole thing into server script service, a thumbnail camera, camera, you can delete that automatic updates. You're going to go into core. Okay. And you're going to go to this package link right in here. There is this auto update. You're going to turn that on. So that makes sure that it's always updating. Um, and yeah, nothing will stop functioning or working. So there's an actual setting script. So you're gonna open this up right here. As you can tell, we have the uh, little little numbers right here. So let's say you wanted to add someone. My username, for example, this isn't my display name, but this is my username. You would just add, uh, you know, twin plays dev, just like that. Uh, something very simple to do. Uh, but let's say you know you wanted to do another person. You can do the same thing. You know, test whatever, just like that. But now for game passes, uh, like I said, this is kind of different. You're going to get that game pass ID. Very simple to find. Um, it's just that little link with the numbers. And this is where you're going to have the game pass IDs. There is also groups. Um, this is honestly a good way of doing it. If you have a, like a role play group and you wanted to just have certain ranks with certain commands, um, you would just basically put your group ID right here. Um, so it's like a four number and then you find your ranks. It'd be like 15. Normally the higher ranks would be like 200s. And yeah, you just give them admin or such and it go from there. That's all you do. You just put that in server script service and it should be ready for you. And you don't need to worry about anything else. I hope you enjoyed this little simple tutorial and I will catch you guys in the next video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye.